Hello, Dirk. Hello, Edgar. How are you? I'm good. Hey, isn't it a wonderful day today? Sun is out, but it's still Sun. cold and wintry. But, so we can still wear it. But, but not windy. No, no. Yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. the wind, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a cold wind. wind. When it gets here, it gets through your bones. Yeah, but yeah. now the sun's out. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Oh, but I love but it. How, how exciting was last Sunday in church? I was just blown away. So Full church? Yeah. It? It, biggest attendance um, oh, for the year. Oh. So it was over 190. And we announced it was would be cold. We would have no electricity, bring a no heater, there. bring a blanket, and, and yet everyone came. Yeah. And how nice was it that they set all of the electricity stuff up yes. with the generators? Yes. But because it was so windy and blowy, I, I think, um, you know, the poles that they were going to change, maybe they didn't do it because you told me the electricity wasn't even switched off then. Or no, like no, that. yeah. So, but we are set up now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so oh man, that was good. Hey. Your prophetic word that uh, Penny reminded you when you first came. Maybe you just repeat that one. I think that sounds very interesting to me. Oh, you mean when? Yeah. So, so um, this is going back well, two years where, yes. uh, ago when when I joined Living Grace yes. up here and was the installation service. Yes. And in the worship time, I had this vision of um, being at Living Grace. Yes. And then, but suddenly it was like, you know, I'm being lifted up to see all of Toowoomba. Yes. And, and as you look down the range, uh, so, you know, going down to Whitcott, that, that part where the road goes down, I saw from above this, um, almost this wrought iron, but in gold and, okay, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, fence coming down and had the almost like church arch uh, things like yes. this and with a gate and stuff like that coming down and almost creating a gate between, uh, from the range down to yeah, yeah. Toowoomba up yeah, yeah. here. So towards Brisbane. Yeah, to, looking towards yeah, Brisbane, yeah. almost like yeah. a gate that came down and yeah. separated Toowoomba from the rest yeah. of it, right? Yeah. And then I saw Jesus coming down, or rather, he was coming down and with his, with his toe, he touched the ground of one of the streets and then immediately the tar of the road just turned into yeah, gold everywhere. Gold, yeah, it just yeah. went yeah. In every everywhere, every house and and stuff like that, and it was like you know, um, uh, God was going to do something special here, but He was going to separate it, if you like, from anything else. It's like yes, you know, He's going yes. to guard what He's going to do. Yes. And Penny reminded me of that the other day when you know all of the restrictions were happening, but Toowoomba is is allowed to continue. And look at our numbers. You know, we're, as you were saying. We're not under those restrictions like everywhere else around the yes. nation or yes. even in Europe or yes. anywhere else. Yes. We're actually quite free. Yeah, how, I would have never you know, made the connection, but it, it, we are special. Toowoomba is, you know, we've been meeting for months and months and months and now even with ticketed, we can have the full capacity of our building can come. And now I think New South Wales is again just a hundred. Mm. That's the upper limit indoors and stuff, yeah. and we haven't got any of that. So, yeah. so, so Edgar, are we blessed? We, and we are blessed, and I reckon. Remember, before COVID and all of this kind of stuff happened, we had growth problems, and I said, you know, the shoe doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, yeah. We need to look at something else. And yeah. It's like you know, and we're back there again, aren't we? Yeah. So, yes, on Sunday. You know, during the week, someone already said, you know, man, we got a space problem. And I said, no, not really. L like, I couldn't quite see it, but on Sunday, we were full. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's back to what do we do? Yeah. But anyway, I'm not just excited about numbers. I'm excited about how the church is interacting with one another and, you know, how people talk to one another and all these mm. connections and relationships mm. are forming. And I want to read to you from First Corinthians chapter 4. This is the Apostle Paul writing to the Corinthians and he was actually founding the church. Right. So he was yeah. evangelizing and they became Christians because of him. So I'm, I'm not writing this to shame you, but to warn you as my dear children, even though you have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers for in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I'm sending to you Timothy, my son, whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. So, you know, lots of things going on here. But I think, um, so the Corinthians had a few issues with Paul. 
and they were liking other people and preferring other people to Paul. But Paul said, like, you got guardians. You got people that come and they teach and they know stuff, but you haven't got many fathers and I'm a father. So what do you think he's saying there? I love that. You know why? Yes. I, it just it just pinged something in my head as yes. we're talking about how he's saying, you know, I'm going to send you Timothy. Or, you know, he always, as a father to the church, yes. right? Yes. And saying, I'm going to send you Timothy, my son whom I love. Yes. It's almost like the father in heaven. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like yeah, saying, yeah, Jesus, yeah, 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 my yeah. son whom I love. It's yes. like, you know, a bit of an echo. And he wasn't his natural son. It's a spiritual son. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, this idea of having spiritual fathers, sons, um, mothers, daughters. Yes. And I find, you know, the era of church programs is yes. finished. Yes. I it doesn't work it. anymore. And here in Living Grace, it's we're probably not, never really worked. Yeah. Well, we yeah. made it work, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, we, yeah. this is almost like what I said on Sunday. I learned how to work on my natural, but yeah, yeah. God is leading both of us, our church, yeah. you know, into yeah. more of lean into the spirit, yes. work from the spirit. And I think the spirit is creating this culture yes. of community. Yes. And what I see here is that Paul is saying, do you know how this community works? Yes. It's by people being the spiritual fathers to the next generation yes. or to others. And and I think, you know, the, the big difference between the guardians and people that come and know stuff and a father is that a father truly cares. Yeah. So Paul actually, he, he, he knows I'm a father. I actually care about you. And you want to leave a legacy, yeah. don't you? You and want to pass it yes, on. Yes, and I have integrity. Yeah. And yeah. can't you see it? And, you know, this is what I'm seeing at the church right now. So, um, you know, I heard uh, last Sunday, you know, maybe a young woman in her 20s approaches um, a woman 70 years of age in the church and asks her whether she could be her mentor. Yeah. And doesn't even know her. Yeah. Like, but, you know, so a young woman says, I need a spiritual mom. Yeah. And would you be my spiritual mom? Oh, Just a pro no. like, and you know, the person didn't even know what does that mean? You know, mentor like, but now they're, they're actually starting out yeah. on that journey. And that's no program. Yeah. We didn't know about it. We're not organizing it. It's just these connections in the church where people actually realize we're family. Do you we know what, Eka, what I'm seeing together. is not just the connections, which is, yeah. I think that that's definitely a Holy Spirit thing. But how good is that? And it's awesome. Like, ah. But it's like, you know, I'm starting to hear from different people who, and every Sunday, and, and so many people are saying, every Sunday there are new people. And yes, either, yeah. either people are inviting others, or they're having a moment with the Holy Spirit saying, go to Living Grace. I had, on my way here, a phone yeah. call from someone. Hi, I know who you're watching because he's, he told me that he sent an email and uh, he was so encouraged by what we're doing. He says, it reminds me of the Church of Acts. Yes. And the thing is that, you know, that's that's what we're talking yeah, about. A yeah. culture where everyone had things in common, looked out for one another. Yeah. You know, there's one another kind of stuff. That's the knitting yeah. together. And it? love. Yeah. yeah, the love that is there. It becomes real. Yeah. Real I church. mean, I had a, a phone call with someone during the week as well. And she said, or she wrote later, I can see you've got a father's heart. Mm -hmm. So like it came out and I have to say, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if there's one descriptor of my, my role, your role, it would be father. Mm -hmm. Really, that's how I think, yeah. you know, and yeah. you love, you're responsible, you're protective, yeah. but it's not institutional. Yeah. can't be. It's not cold. And, and you know what I love about the way that Jesus taught us about church yeah. and about a relationship with yeah. the Heavenly Father yeah, yeah. is that he told us about Abba. Yes. In other words, it's fun to yeah. be around with Abba, Abba Father, you know, uh, Papa, Abba God, yeah, you know, Papa like God, Daddy, yeah. you know, Papa like whatever God, it is. Yeah, In yeah. other words, it's like, you know, there's, there's an affection. And, and isn't this the church of daddy jokes, you know, yeah, yeah. The bad dad jokes. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah, love yeah. it. It's yeah, like, yeah. there's a culture of, of just don't take yourself too seriously. Have a bit of fun, but we take God's word seriously yes. and we want to experience that. Yeah. And, but we do it in such a loving and caring way that it's like, yeah. it becomes a natural part of the culture, yeah. like the church of Acts. Yes. But you know, it's, so I'm, I'm rejoicing. I can see it. Um, I think it, it's a, something new. Um, certainly another wave of this happening. And I'm so aware we're not controlling it. No, it's just emerging. Yeah, and you can't control it. And, yeah. you know, it could go bad. People could start taking offense again with one another. And, you know, it could all fold. 
But I think this is just what Jesus said, he's building his church. Yeah. So, and you know, everyone is responsible for their bit, for their relationships. And you know, it's the whole, and when all the relationships work, then you've got an amazing church mm. that is one and it's powerful. So I reckon for everybody listening, when you come into church, ask God, find my place in this. Am I in need of a mentor? Am I a mentor to someone yeah, else? Yes. Is there a place where I can pray to that person? Or yeah. does that person need an encouragement? Yes. What, what is my role in this? And it may change from Sunday to Sunday. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit lead you yes. to say, do you know, today I want you to explore this part of community. Yes. I just want you to go up to a stranger. Yes. Next Sunday, I suppose, don't worry about them. Yes. Go to the people that you yes. know and yes. encourage them. It's like, it's, it's, let the Holy Spirit lead. It's amazing. Yeah. Like people are not remaining strangers to one another, but you know, they look at one another, I need what this guy got. Would you be my mentor and yeah, teach me? Yeah. Like, how good is that? All right. And it's available. So we're rejoicing uh, what God is doing in our midst. I pray you do as well, and you can join in, and let's see where God takes oh, us. Amen to that. Amen. Thumbs up. Hey? Yeah. Put, a, put a like on that. You know, it's like, yeah, I like it. See how many likes we get out of that one. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.